coming up in this video. Welcome back to another unboxing video. I've got this massive box here in front of me and that is because we're going to be unboxing today the Giganotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. Yo guys, Dead here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. And as you can see, um, I've got this massive box here in front of me, and that is because we're going to be unboxing today the Giganotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. And my glasses are getting fogged up, give me a second. So yeah guys, you heard me, Giganotosaurus, Jurassic World Dominion, unboxing. And just straight away, if we take a look at this box, um, I know these the colossal range, which is the range that this toy is in. I know these toys are quite big, but just looking at this box right here, it looks big enough to fit a TV. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get into this giant box. I really don't know why it's so big, guys. I mean, like I said, the toy is big, but it's not the size of the TV. Okay, guys. Oh, hold on. No. Okay, guys, we finally cut open the box. And if we actually take a look in here, guys, a lot of what's inside the box is just this wrapping paper. And then, sorry about the rustling guys, and then if we get all of this stuff out of the box, we've got, we've got another box! Oh that I can't get out! Give me a minute guys! Let's cut into this next box, which is a much easier cross. And guys, we've got another box! <laughs> we've got a box inside of a box inside of a box! <gasps> Imagine if there's another box inside this box, guys! No, this is actually the real toy. Let me try and get it out. Hold on, guys, bear with me. Oh, what an exotic day of boxes it is, guys. My glasses are fog. Some glasses are fogging up again. Okay, guys. We've got a box inside of a box inside of a box. But inside of this box is the Giganotosaurus Colossal Toy. Now, this thing, according to the box, is 99 by 39 centimeters. So guys, this box is 99 by 39 centimeters. And just to give you guys a, a, some context as to how big that is, if I didn't have such a tall tripod, you guys would not be able to see me, probably. And oh my gosh, these glasses are fogging up so much. Okay, it, it's quite hot here, so... Let's get inside of this second box. As you can see, we've got a lot of ties and stuff to get into. So, let me, let me actually show you guys. It can't be an unboxing video without three boxes, can it? Okay, so straight away, before we even cut into it, we can see the Jurassic World Dominion logo. And then we've got Super Colossal Giganotosaurus. As you can see, this is the size comparison, in comparison to an actual kid. And then on the back, we've got, um, we've just got some writing and pictures and stuff. So, I will say guys, as I cut into this, oh wow, these are actually like, pretty tough ties. Okay, let me... Okay guys, we've got one of the ties off. The second tie is in a pretty awkward position. Let me just... Oh, I probably shouldn't have picked such big scissors. 
Hold on a minute, guys. Oh. Oh. There we go, guys. Two tires have been taken off. Okay, guys, I will say that if there is a set of these colossals, and um, I, got, I only got one of them for this video because, you know, Gigantosaurus, Jurassic World Dominion, you know, it's in the trailer, everyone's talking about it. So, I thought, if, the, if you guys really want, leave a like on this video, and if enough of you guys leave a like on this video, like, let's actually set a target, will we? Let's say, um, 50,000 likes on this video, and I'll unbox another colossal toy. Comment down below what colossal toy you want me to unbox next. And whoever's, whoever, whichever toy people comment the most, I'll unbox that one. So as we can see right here, we've got the Gigantosaurus with an... Oh no, we're, we're not going to touch it. We're not going to... Oh, you guys, guys, let me show you for a minute. Let, or let me just... There are more ties, guys. <laughs> I guess I've got to the... Um, I've got to... Give credit to Amazon for like taking care of their products well and stuff. But like, we've got a bo we've got three boxes, and then finally we've got into this box and there's a bunch of ties on it. But we've cut them all now, so hopefully we can actually get this thing out of its packaging and actually take a look at it. Hold on. Okay, I think there's something um, happening here, guys. Let me... Okay, guys, so we've got into this thing. Let me... Uh... Oh, guys, there's another tie. Are you kidding me? I didn't even notice this one. Okay. There's no way you guys are going to be able to see this tie, but... I can... Okay. Final tie has been snapped. Oh wow, this um, these are tough ties. They're like, they're like, and this was, this one is in a really awkward position. Hold on, let me, can I just like. Okay guys, so there's a tie in the back. Oh, there we go, we got rid of it. And oh my gosh, this thing is heavier than I expected. But okay, we've got the um, we've got the arms. I'm pretty sure they're meant to be folded this way. There we go. And um, now, um, let let me just put the body down here. Just take a look at this body, guys, and compare. Like already, even not assembled properly, this thing is bigger than my head. Okay, guys. So we've got the feet and the tail in here, so let's just... Oh, this thing is very toughly packaged. Okay. Okay guys, so we've got one of the feet. Now, um, I'm, I've never actually unboxed or even owned a colossal toy before, so I don't really know how this goes, do I just... How exactly do I put this in? Do I just like, um... Hold on, I think I'm doing it wrong, guys. Let me... Okay, so I think you just have to fit the notches. Okay, there we go guys, we heard the click. So, there's one of its legs in. Um, I can't really show you what it looks like standing up without the other leg, but... Um, I guess you can have a bit of an idea. Let me just get... Okay, there's more sellotape. Let me just... Oh my 
gosh, guys, the amount of sellotape that they used to build, to package these boxes together, I'm surprised there's any left in the world anymore. If they're shipping out, like, so many of these boxes every day, how is there any sellotape left in the universe? Okay guys, so at long last, I've managed to get the tail out. Let's just, um, let's just pop this in. Okay guys, so is this gonna be an easy pop? Yes, the tail is a way easier pop than the foot was. Or well, maybe I was just doing it wrong last time, but... Okay, let's go grab the other foot from out of here. I find it funny, guys, how they've packaged up the feet, like, so nicely, but they didn't have any packaging on the tail. <laughs> that's, um, that's kind of funny, but... Okay, let's dig into this again. Getting this thing out of its packaging is definitely one of the harder aspects of the actual unboxing. Okay guys, we've got the other foot out. Okay guys, is it gonna be an easy pop? Okay, there we go. We have officially, after I don't even know how long, how long has it been recording? Okay. We finally got the Giganotosaurus colossal toy assembled and oh my god, I can say this thing is one of the biggest <laughs> dinosaur toys. I've ever unboxed. Let me just clear the table. I'll put those over there. Just look at the sheer size of this thing in comparison to me. I saw this thing on, um, I saw this thing on video, on like YouTube videos, and I knew it was big, but oh my gosh, it's even bigger in person. Okay, so um, now that we've unboxed it, let's just take a look at it a bit. So straight away we can see it's got um, foldable, um, like adjustable hands. You can do like proper turns with the hands. The mouth also opens. And this is one thing I actually find pretty cool about Colossal Toys is... Oh my gosh, this is... Look at this guys, look, the teeth are actually, and the tongue is actually soft rubber. Oh, you can move the top jaw as well. I didn't even know you could do that. So this is the um, this is how wide its mouth can open. And the one thing I really like about Colossals, let, let me just find something for an example. Um, remote control. You can actually shove things into its mouth. It eats them, and then you open this up, and the item falls out. So um. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a there's a, um, a stomach flap, I guess a belly flap right here. You can open it and close it, like this. Let me just... This thing is so big, ow. This thing is so big, I can hardly work with it. Okay, so you open and close the belly flap like that. And there's a big hole in its mouth. Which kind of acts like a... Can, can I get a zoom on this? So we got a big hole down in the mouth here, guys. Where you can just throw things in. Although I will say you have to... Worry about the size of the item. Because, say, this um, remote control, as you saw here, goes in properly, comes out. But if you have too big of an item, um, you may either just have to break this thing open to get your item back, or... Just um, not have it, and um, neither of those seem good. So just 
take a look at this hole and take a look at the hole in the stomach and just estimate how big of items you can fit in there. So, yeah, now that we've looked at that aspect of it, we can see that the paint job in itself is pretty good. It's, it seems to have the um, pretty good... I need to sit down. It seems to have pretty, like, original colours from Jurassic World Dominion trailer. You see we've got the black spikes running down the back, and then if we look into it, and this is actually, this is one of the coolest parts, so if we can try and zoom in as far as we can. I don't know if you can see that on the camera guys, but it's got a gold eye. Like the, the eye is actually, the eye is actually like painted gold. Okay, zoom out. And um, we can see all around it guys, it's got scars, it's got scars here, it's got scars on its feet. The one thing I will have to say I don't really understand about this toy is that its whole body, right, like its teeth and everything is painted fine. So the fingernails and the toenails are actually not painted. I'm not really sure if that's intentional, but um, overall I think this is a pretty good toy for the price you're paying. I will say though guys, if you if you really want the Giga or Gigantosaurus, if you really want it, then the best thing to do is probably wait until like two weeks or something after the movie comes out and then the prices will drop. But unless you know if you're like me, you're a YouTuber and you need to record an unboxing video, then you have to get it earlier. But if you really just want the toy to like play with and stuff, and then um, I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty big toy, so um, I guess it's gonna be cool to play with if you have other big toys, but like, one thing I really don't understand about these Colossals is, guys, that once you, so you saw when I unboxed it, it came in like different parts, but in case you haven't noticed, after you put it together, you cannot disassemble it. I'm just like lightly trying to, to like without breaking it, just try to open it and it won't. So once you put the tail and the feet on, they do not disattach. So if you guys were thinking like, oh, I'll just unbox it and then I'll put it back in the box and take it somewhere, that ain't an option. So this thing is not going to fit in that, in that box as it is right now. Like, if you, um, if you get this toy and you, want, and you have an idea of like wanting to bring it somewhere else, then just don't open the box until you get to that place. But um, overall, I would give this a 9 out of 10 rating. Um, I, it's really close to a 10, it's just the unpainted nails. And the um, these hands, they feel kind of like, I don't know if it's just me, but when you turn them around, they feel like the... They feel like they're close to, um, like, popping off. But that might just be me. And the other thing I don't really understand is, like, where would you... If you have a collection of these, where would you exactly put them? Like, as you can see in comparison to me, this thing is huge. Like, I would genuinely... Like, pretty soon... One, fine. Two, fine. But pretty soon... You're gonna need an entire living room just for your, like, just, no furniture, no desks, no nothing, just for your colossal toys. Like, like, the desk in my office was not flipping big enough to film this unboxing video on. That's how big these things are. But I mean, I, I think it's pretty cool, and I mean, if you are a fan of big dinosaur toys that, that like, you can, that can eat things, then it's, a, it's definitely the toy for you. So yeah, I would give it a 9 out of 10 rating just for the um, unpainted nails and the apparently flimsy hands. But overall, it's a really cool toy. I would recommend getting this toy, but like I said, if you're not a YouTuber, you should probably wait until the prices go down. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on social media, and I'll see you guys. Hold on in the next video. Dragoon, out.
Okay, cut it.